Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to Vagencon 2023. So today I'm going to talk about the topic unleashing the power of WebAssembly in system interface uh, WASI in Go. So let me uh, tell you about myself. I'm Rajiv Rajan Singh. I work as software engineer at Epimoral Musk. I graduated in August 2022 from JSSAT Bangalore, India. So it's been like more than uh, one year uh, of experience in software development uh, in IT industry. So before starting the talk, I'm going to uh, tell about the agenda for this talk. So I'll be covering uh, WebAssembly. Uh, then I will be going through WebAssembly system interface. And then uh, I will be going through existing support for the WebAssembly in um, current Golang language. Then I will go through uh, the new uh, WASI, 1P, uh, WASI P1 uh, integration in uh, Golang, which is added in Go, uh, Go version 1.21. Also, I'm going to show uh, like a demonstration around uh, WASI uh, uh, P1. And at last, I will be covering the future of WASM and Golang uh, uh, topics like what things are uh, evolving and uh, WASM and Golang. Uh, the pre-request for this uh, talk is uh, WebAssembly. It's not uh, so required, but uh, it's good to have a little bit knowledge about WebAssembly. Uh, okay, so what is WebAssembly? So basically, like WebAssembly is a uh, instruction instruction format originally like designed uh, for the web. So basically, it, uh, uh, is, is just a, um, a special type. Like just take example like um, uh, a special type of computer code that can run uh, really fast in web browsers. So uh, it is similar to other language browser understand uh, like uh, JS, but it is more. Uh, more like powerful and can do things like complex uh, calculation or run games much smoother. Uh, so basically like Go uh, in Golang, uh, which is a popular language, uh, started supporting Vasm a while back. So this means you can take a code written in Go and turn into Vasm so it can run into your web browser. However, it still, uh, I mean, it still needs to some help from JavaScript to do things like access a uh, file um, or communicate within the internet. Um, so uh, as uh, Vagem, ha Vagem has grown, so have use cases outside the browser, but many cloud providers like Kubernetes, no, not uh, maybe cloud providers, also like the other DevOps to, uh, tools, related tools like Kubernetes, or Docker, and all uh, uh, Vagem has been involving in these technologies too. Uh, but Vagem, I mean, Vagem is, isn't just for website anymore. Now, I mean, even company like Google and Amazon are letting people run Vagem programs on their powerful computer. Um, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's like open for up a new possibility of for uh, running all sort of uh, programs, not just websites within the speed of ease of Vasm. Uh, like, mm, then this is all about WebAssembly. And so what's the WebAssembly system interface? So uh, I, I'll uh, try to um, uh, make it understand in very simple way. So WASI, WebAssembly system interface is like a special, um, you can take as a special translator for Vasm programs. So it allows them to interact with the underlying system, like the file system, clock, and random data on different devices, just like native programs do. This is important because it, it makes the version program more powerful and versatile. Uh, basically, like just think of think of Vazi as a set of instructions for version programs to uh, say, uh, say things like, uh, give me the contents of this file, tell me the current time, generate some random numbers. So each, uh, basically the, the each instruction what we are giving is like a request and uh, device or platform that runs on Vasm program. So uh, basically the Golang has uh, Vasm support in uh, like uh, JS uh, for a Goose uh, a JS. Now they have added a, uh, basically a Vasi snapshot preview one, which is added in Golang uh, 1.21. And um, like um, thanks to the maintain, uh, thanks to the contributors who uh, made this proposal and added this uh, feature in Go 1.21. So basically, Vasi uh, P1 is a set of instructions for Vasm programs to use. Future versions are being developed, and they might require changes on how Vasm programs are written or compiled. Uh, the cool thing about Vasi is that it, it is standardized. So this means that Vasm programs written using Vasi can run on different Vasm runtimes. Uh, we have a lot of Vasm run, runtimes like Vasm Time, Vasiro, Vasm uh, Vasm Edge, or even platform like Node.js. Uh, basically, it's like having a common language that everyone understands. 
um, I mean, I, I said you earlier, like even cloud providers are getting into on the X and they are offering way to run Vajam, Vaji programs on their platform, uh, which opens up new possibility for deploying and running Vajam programs in the cloud. Uh, so these are the uh, Vajam runtimes. So let's talk more about the Vaji support in Go. Uh, uh, go tool chain. So I said you write Go 1.21 as a new port targeting the Vajip preview uh, syscall API through a new uh, Goose val value Vajip, Vajip P. Uh, so so uh, so basically like uh, um, you uh, uh, however it, it still allows some uh, uh, it allow it, it still allows some task like uh, Go routines to happen together. For example, like um, while one guru team is doing something, another can also be active thanks to feature called non-blocking input output. But when a program needs help from computer is running on, like asking for a random data, all guru teams have to wait until the, I mean, basically until the task is finished. So this type of work uh, can be done using uh, Vaji P1. So um, also like it brings a new compiler instruction called Vajam port. Uh, you can also go through the new uh, Vajam 32 port uh, proposal, which uh, is a new, uh, I, I think in the future it, is, it will be a new addition for that. Um, and I said you about the Vaji and uh, how uh, new uh, Go Vaji P1 in uh, earlier slides. But uh, let's, um, I mean, let's talk about um, uh, more about the limitations of Vaji P1. I mean, obviously there is a limitation for this. So one thing, one thing that is missing in the Vajam interface uh, version one, I mean the pre previous uh, snapshot preview one, is ability to create new network connection directly. I mean this means we cannot easily make things like web servers using the standard tools for, from the Go programming language. However, some tools like Vasmer and Vasm has add extra feature to Vasm P1, including the ability to create network connections. So, including uh, I mean although I mean I mean although these extra features aren't directly supported by Go language but there is a third party to uh, we have third party things uh, which make it happen like we have a, a project by uh, still rocket company uh, at um, net uh, which utilize uh, go Vasm uh, port uh, I mean basically that uh, that uh, bridge this gap uh, with this library we can use function like net dial and net listen to create network connection making it possible like uh, web browsers and other network related pro programs when using Vasm. So uh, th that's about the Vaji support, current support for uh, in the Go toolchain. I mean, you can go through the blog, official blog they have released uh, in the release notes, I think so, in, uh, in Golang 1.21 release notes. So <clears throat> how, to, how to use it? Like, so it's very simple. So we need a one a Vasm runtime to uh, run it. So I am using Vasm time as of now. So you can use anything uh, Vasm is or any any stuff. So also you need a one uh, Golang 1.21. These are the prerequisites to run this Vaji P1. Uh, you just write a main.go file, hello world, and then you um, use a command. I mean, you have to, um, I mean, uh, give the goose and go arc uh, like this for Vaji P1. Vasm and just build a main go file so a binary um, will be created Vasm and you can just run uh, like run that binary using Vasm time so if I show the code I have a, a main.go file and so I will uh, let me delete the older binary so I'm going to run uh, Oh, uh, I think so. Let me see. So I have to uh, goose. I have to. So I have given my uh, go arc and all the stuff. And if I run it, it will create a binary, Vasm binary. So I see here, main dot Vasm is created a binary. So I want to run this binary using uh, Vasm time. So Vasm prime main dot Vasm. So it's going to print a uh, hello Vajip uh, one. So yeah, I mean this is working fine. So it's very simple. You just write your program. You need a one Vasm runtime and just run it. So this is a demonstration of Vajip P1. So I mean, so let me uh, go through. So these uh, we have talked about the Vajip. Uh, I mean. Uh, uh, things and all. Uh, I mean, uh, WebAssembly, Vaji, and then uh, there is a Vaji support. 
uh, for uh, I mean go one point two one. Um, I mean let me so uh, let me go through the future of Vaja Mingo. So there is an ongoing development for Vaji Preview Two. So in Vaji Preview Two is already added, but in Go Line we don't have a Preview Two. Uh, I mean, uh, why personally I feel like there is uh, not stable. Uh, I, I just, as of now, it's not stable. So uh, maybe that is the reason we don't have um, Vaji Preview Two as of now. But there is ongoing development uh, for that in Golang in Golang integrations. I'm not sure like what port they are going to add it like in the new port or the existing port. How backward compatibility will happen and all those stuff. But uh, let let me uh, let's talk about the other future Vajam and Go stuff. So, uh, in, uh, so future support for Vaji modules in Docker and Kubernetes. So that's open a door for serverless and edge deployments. Uh, I mean, that, this means like application can run highly distributed environment without needing a full operating system, making them lightweight, uh, efficient, scalable uh, for the resource. Con I mean, those const constrained edge devices. And I thought uh, I said you right. The development for Vaji. To brings uh, it, it will bring stability and wide adoption. Maybe uh, that those network and network issues and all will be fixed. Even in Tinigo, we have a Vaji P1. I mean, uh, it has a network support. But since uh, Tinigo is not for a big big, I mean, there is a difference between Tinigo and Big Go for a larger application. Tinigo is not suitable. Mostly they are for the uh, edge devices. Uh, I mean, I talked about the Go Vajam export enables, I mean, that enables seamless integrations of Go function with Vajam and it will expand the capabilities. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Go developers can leverage the power of uh, familiarity of Go while taking advantage for Vajam portability and uh, security also. So we have a, both uh, uh, advantage uh, if, uh, for um, if you have enabled Go Vajam export. I talked to you about Vajam 32 port also like uh, which will um, expand target platform enabling Vajam on more uh, more uh, architectures. So I mean uh, I mean uh, uh, including maybe it might include uh, like uh, ARM WebAssembly 32. I mean basically at the end of the day like this opens up new possibility for deploying Vajam application on range of devices and uh, environment. So uh, these are the things which I know personally like what is happening in Vajam and Go. But uh, I mean there's a lot of stuff uh, going. Uh, on uh, in this technology like Vajam and Go and uh, Vaji uh, web system interface. So yeah, so thank you uh, to listening to me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the talk. I try my best to uh, give insights about the Vaji uh, and Golang and Vajam. Uh, so uh, you can find the uh, about me uh, on these links. Uh, thank you so much.